The conservative-leaning parody site, The Babylon Bee, was suspended by Twitter for 12 hours, after it had mockingly awarded transgender government official Rachel Levine the title Man of the Year. The story was apparently a reaction to USA Today's naming Levine, who serves as U.S. Assistant Secretary. On Sunday evening, Seth Dillon, at Seth Dillon, CEO of the Babylon Bee, tweeted, I just received the notice that we've been locked out of our account for hateful conduct. In a series of follow-up tweets, Dillon explained that the account would be restored in 12 hours, but that the countdown won't beg you. On Monday morning, Dylan further added while the offending tweet remains live, the Babylon Bee is unable to post anything new. If Twitter's goal had been to remove the harmful content, it backfired spectacularly. That original tweet, which was posted on March 15, had largely flown under the radar, yet when news that the parody site's account was suspended, the tweet suddenly went viral. On Sunday evening, Jessica O'Donnell, at Heck Jessica, of The Blaze shared the image used by the Babylon Bee, tweeting, This tweet got at the Babylon Bee suspended. I guess Twitter doesn't want us sharing it. So definitely don't share it in addition to the attention the tweet has now received on Twitter, the news of the Babylon Bee's suspension has been covered by multiple news outlets. It is unlikely that Twitter expected such a reaction. It is funny the things that can go viral, explained Susan Campbell, a former newspaper editor and distinguished lecturer at the University of New Haven. We need more satire, but I question the motive of the Babylon Bee. It seems to have a lot of stories that make fun of the transgender community. Many who rebuked the parody site also suggested it has just the one joke, poking fun at the transgender community, a fact that the Babylon Bee only further embraced. In self-deprecating fashion, the site even posted a new story, Babylon Bee writers struggling to come up with new material after Twitter bans one of their two jokes. In this particular case, the issue was more of hate speech than misinformation but past stories from the Babylon Bee have been shared. Campbell said that she can understand how difficult it has become to determine what is real news and what is misinformation or even disinformation on social media. I have to admit I've even been caught retweeting something from the Babylon Bee that I thought was real, Campbell explained on Monday.